Hey everyone, it's Tony here. Today's Sony Vegas Basic tutorial will be working with green screening and how to implement a green screen file into Sony Vegas and apply that green screen effect. So let's get started. So I already have my green screen file or clip implemented. It's just a 3D model of a helicopter spinning. It's pretty basic. So once you get your uh, green screen clip implemented to your Sony Vegas timeline, you want to go down to Video FX, Chroma Key, and then find the Pure Green Screen plugin and drag it into your clip. The first thing that you would usually do when you implement this plugin is changing the color of the green screen now. For me, this actually implemented pretty good, and what you would notice is if your object in front of the green screen has like you know a little, little green blowing around it, the edges, or maybe some white or yellow, um, that would be the plugin not recognizing the green screen or recognizing your green screen um, effectively. So it's pretty easy just to change. You just want to go down to the color tab, click on it, and then click on the eyedrop tool. You actually uncheck this, you can see the green screen. Um, so go to the eyedrop tool, and then click on the green screen, and then it will apply it to that color to make sure it's getting the optimal uh, green color that it needs to make your object look a lot more clear. Um, so once you do that, then uh, another thing you can tweak with, but it's pretty optional, but I recommend doing it, is um, making the blacks, change that, there you go, making the blacks as black as they can, the whites as white as they can. And you would do that by changing the low threshold and the high threshold. The way to edit this is clicking the show mask only button. Now you can see it makes your object whiter and your background blacker. Now for me, uh, before it was grayer, but now it's black. But if it's gray or if the edges are gray, there's any areas that are white or patchy, um, then you can use the throw low threshold and that will change the blacks. And if you increase it, then it'll make it blacker, of course. If you lower it, it'll make it back to what it originally was. But you can tweak it to make your blacks as black as they can without distorting the object. So we'll do that now. It's good to me. And then the high threshold would be for the whites. Now, usually when it's at the default one, it looks pretty good then, but if you want to increase it just a little bit, then you can. <clears throat> and then the blur amount, I don't usually work with or use because it's kind of useless because the main point of having an object in front of the green screen is to make the object as clear as you can. So if you add a blur effect, then it kind of just ruins the whole purpose of having an object, you know, in front of the green screen. So I always leave that at zero. Once you do that, let's go back to that, uncheck it. So go back to that, and it looks pretty good right now. If you're satisfied, then um, the next thing you can do is if you have a background, so let's say you have a background of explosions and you want to add someone in front of that, then all you have to do is just implement your clip. Now for me, I just have a plain background of just a river. And what you want to make sure is you have the background below your green screen clip. So if obviously if you have it in front of it or on top of it, then nothing will work. So of course, just make sure you have your green screen clip above your background clip on your timeline. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Those uh, red flashes are actually from the 3D model clip. So it's something with Sony Vegas or anything. So if you're wondering, but yeah, so it looks pretty good right now. And that's how you work with green screening in Sony Vegas. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I will see you in the next Sony Vegas Basics tutorial video.